kind of seems like simple math, right? When the balls win, local businesses win as well. That is what happens in East Tennessee. Our John Pierceos tells us, though, things are a little bit different because at NIL, those businesses that sell the ball, T-shirts, jerseys, and merch are seeing a big boost. Hendon Hooker to Cedric Tillman has been a winning formula on the field for the Vols this season. But it's also a winning formula for East Tennessee businesses like Bacon and Company. The fan interest is obviously kind of back. Jed Dan says business can be dependent on how well the Vols are playing. But this year, there is an added factor, name, image, and likeness, or NIL for short. This is the first football season players can profit off their own name and sell merchandise like t-shirts. That has created a lot of new opportunities. Now you can get your favorite player, you know, on a t-shirt or a hat. How much are sales up? Dan says sales of volunteer merchandise are up about 65% compared to pre-NIL. I relate it back to the 90s when we were really doing well. And so, yeah, the demand has definitely picked back up. The high demand for NIL merchandise extends to Alumni Hall as well. They have an entire section of player t-shirts. It definitely highlights, you know, some star players on the team. Um, and I think the fans really get behind those players and want to cheer them on. So they're excited to wear their shirts. But not all of the profits go to the store or the player. Navy Schuler has an NIL deal where all of the proceeds go towards the Boys and Girls Club of the Tennessee Valley. That's a great thing to see um, and a creative way uh, to use that NAL um, as well. An overall boost to sales thanks to the Vols on-field play and new NCAA rules. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. Jed must be doing some pretty good business. Jed with Bacon & Company tells us the NIL has been such a popular deal. All retailers they deal with are placing orders.